Hey there, it's Jody Taylor. Whether you're a first time listener or it ain't your first rodeo, welcome to Jody Tried It. This tiny podcast is about my journey of purchasing and trying many professional and personal development tools and resources, such as courses, memberships, subscriptions, templates, and apps. I'll share my honest review key takeaways, and things you might want to consider to help you make informed decisions about your personal and professional development. Now time for a quick affiliate disclosure. Some of the links mentioned on Jody Tried It, either on the show or in the show notes, are affiliate links, and at no additional cost to you, I will earn a commission if you click through and make a purchase. It's a simple way to support the Jody Tried It podcast, and I only recommend products and services that I genuinely love or believe might be helpful to you. Your trust is important to me. Thank you so much, and without further ado, let's hop on into it. Take two. All right. I am chatting about focus, ideas like ideation, and planning. I have some ideas for you and um, some tips. I'm going to share what I've been doing. So let's start with focus. So when I sit down to do something, um, I will sometimes play music, but more often than not, I will go to Yulma's, uh, that's Y-U-L-M-A, to her YouTube channel. You're going to hear me clicking in the background because I have all these tabs open. So um, Yulma, Y-U-L-M-A, she has the best background music. Her channel um, is a study with me channel. And I usually put on the two hour study with me and it's Pomodoro style. And if you don't know Pomodoro, you study or work for 25 minutes and then you take a five minute break or you study or work for 50 minutes and then take a 10 minute break. So she has different sounds. The one I always play over and over and I'll put a link in the show notes is the two hour study with me relaxing fireplace sounds. I find that when there's um, a gentle rain, like a, a rain sound, it just makes me sleepy. So I tend not to use that for background, but I don't just use this one. I use other videos from her, but this one is my favorite and I've been using it a lot lately. Uh, next, click, click, Na Jing. So Na Jing is based in South Korea. She works at a cafe and I will just put this on and listen to her make drinks. It is fascinating to watch. So if you have the time and you just want to watch her make different iced coffee drinks and juice drinks and smoothies, press play. I'll put the link in the show notes and that's N-A-J-I-N-G. If you look it up yourself in YouTube, it'll say Na Jing's vlog and the first part of her name will be, well, it's exactly her name, but written in Hangul in Korean and that's Na Jing. Okay. So those are the two YouTube channels um, that I go to the most. I have used other YouTube channels for background, <laughs> um, I was going to say music, the background sounds as I work. There's something about Na Jing's, by the way. It makes me feel like I'm in a cafe when I'm not in a cafe and I'm just working on something. I find it oddly soothing. So that's what I do for focus in terms of background sounds. And then next up, I want to talk about ideation. If you're like me, you have a lot of ideas. And if you're like me, maybe they are are all over the place. So I guess it was a couple of weeks ago now. um, And I'll put a link in the show notes because I actually put this on TikTok. I have a little video. But I had three notebooks, a Notion template, and like ideas in my head, and probably some stuff on my phone. And I just wrote it all out on index card, index cards plural. And um, the categories were the following. Like yesterday, meaning like everything on these index cards, there's stuff I really needed to do like yesterday. And then there's ongoing. So for example, this podcast is ongoing, something that I'm currently working on and ongoing. And then one to three months. So things I want to get done or need to get done in the next one to three months. And then three to six months. And then six to 18 months. And then finally was two plus years from now. So that helped me take all of my ideas and my things to do. And I literally laid it out after I wrote up each index card and went through every single place where I had notes. This is an ongoing issue with me. Like I have plenty of ideas and they're all over the place. And I'm, I'm going to talk about Notion in a second. I haven't quite found my sweet spot, but this really helped me. If you're a visual, if you process things visually, 
this really helped me. It, or for you, maybe you want to hit record and um, put all of your ideas on one recording. But this really helped me break things out into like priority, urgency, and um, have it all in one place and spread out. Literally, I put it on my workout mat. <laughs> and like I put the, I use post-its the, the, in different colors, like that said ongoing, like yesterday, et cetera. And I put that on the wall and then I looked at it and I was like, okay, everything makes sense and it's in one place. This may or may not work for you. I found it was a great way to transfer all my ideas from all over the place into these index cards. So I'm still fairly new to Notion and what got me started with it, even though I've been hearing about it for a super long time, is Dora, D-O-R-A, Dora's YouTube video entitled How to Plan a 12-Week Year in Notion. I watched it, I was fascinated, and I felt like I think I get Notion now. It also includes a free Notion template. She includes, um, she has a free Notion template for you and for me. I downloaded it and it helped me sort things out. And so the Notion template I mentioned earlier where I had some ideas and things to do, that's where um, I got, when I was doing the index cards, I also went to this Notion template in, in addition to Notebook. So if you haven't used Notion before and you're curious and you wanna know how it works, I think her video is excellent. It's a little bit under 15 minutes and she walks through how she uses it and explains it. And if you, or maybe you tried Notion before you've opened it and were kind of puzzled, I've been there. I think this is a great intro. So if you are not a beginner with Notion and you're quite comfortable with Notion, I have a resource for you. It's called the Creating Pretty Notion Planners and that's from um, Michelle of Wild and Solo. I've spoken about her um, products before on this podcast and also on my other podcast, Snacky Says Podcast. I haven't taken this mini course because I am truly a beginner in Notion, but I wanted to put it out there because I know about it. I'm also an affiliate for some of her products, including this one. You know, I always have to add the affiliate disclosure. So I wanted to add it because as I was recording, I was thinking there's some folks listening to this saying, yeah, yeah, I got it. I got Notion. So maybe you want to take it to the next level. Um, this mini course, you'll learn how to up-level your Notion planners and create aesthetically pleasing planners that your customers will love. So this is for folks who are comfortable with Notion and would like to sell Notion planners. My understanding based on Michelle's description here and perusing Etsy is that they're selling like hotcakes. So something to consider. Um, again, I haven't taken the mini course, but I am an affiliate for some of Michelle's products and that's Michelle from Wild and Solo. Okay, next up, I think I just have one more thing. Oh yes, one more thing. So yesterday I was reading Jessica Williams' um, latest newsletter. It's jesspicks.substack.com and hey, yay, I got mentioned in um, her newsletter as when I got listed in her list of like things that made her smile this week. And I was like, ooh, because if you've been listening, you know, I have a podcast episode with Jess, if Jessica, if you missed it, I'll have the link in the show notes. Editing Jody, link in the show notes for Jessica's um podcast episode. And that's on Jody Tried It, of course, this podcast. So besides being so excited to see myself mentioned, and I should say, I read her newsletter every week. What drew my attention was um, one of her hashtag loves, that's the category, and I'll put the link to her newsletter, this particular new newsletter in the show notes. And it said activity, ideal day chat bot. I was so curious. So basically, so then I saved it and I, this morning I went through and, and did it. You answer a few questions. It's several questions. It takes about seven minutes. I just drank my morning coffee, went through the questions and the premise is, okay, what is your life like ideally a year from now? So if you click on the link, you'll see it says uh, free time, ideal day, Mad Lib. Who doesn't love Mad Libs? So fill in the blanks to design your ideal average day one year from now. And um, they have a little disclosure, I guess. It's not disclosure. It's, it's in the description. They'll ask for your email address so they can send you a copy of your responses. So I went through this and I was genuinely surprised by like the thought-provoking questions and what I would have... I don't know if you randomly asked me like, well, what do you want to be doing from a, doing a year from now? I think my answer would have been very different if it were not for these several questions that really broke things down and maybe asked things in a way that I wouldn't have thought to ask myself and I hadn't asked myself before. So yeah, um, I'm not one for like 
planning annually, but I do love thought provoking questions. And this is not um, a plan per se, but I'm including in this episode because I think it's related to ideation and a vision for the future. I thought it was very, very interesting. If you happen to complete these mat libs, please let me know. Um, I think Jessica had one more comment I wanted to share. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, we have, I just wanted to check. She says it's a good reminder of the life that she's trying to build. And I would agree. I would agree. I thought it was very centering. All right. That's it for my tips and a little bit of story time and resources for ideas, focus, and planning. Thank you so much for listening. Hey, thanks for listening to this episode of Jody Tried It. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my newsletter at jody.substack.com. That's J-O-D-D-I-E dot substack.com. And please share with a friend or three. Thanks for listening.